like five games in a row. Quite amazing. Um, yeah, but at the same time, though, he has had a fair fortune of luck. That Nomad game where uh, yeah, back that's true. <laughs> and the, people are wondering why he deleted it. The thing, the, what I saw, I think I, the reason was, is that the cast was going up. You put two Palisades to try and protect the Vills. And as he was hitting 90%, he's like, okay, I can delete those Palisades now. And when he did that, he, instead of doing the Palisade, he deleted the castle as well as the Palisade. So there was only one Palisade remaining on the right-hand side. So as far as I can see, my theory goes is that he deleted the castle instead of the Palisade. So. Yeah, I think that's the most likely thing. Um, I couldn't see Tato's feudal time because the spectator overlay didn't preserve the research up that was in progress when kind of he jumped into the game. But he, he wasn't too much later than Tato. His third dock is going to be a little bit later. It looks uh, like... Yeah. Bact is producing from all three docks, so he's going to have this like galley lead. But uh, what something I just noticed was that Tato did bit axe straight away in this game, which is something he didn't do in t the previous Team Island. So that's going to give him a better chance than uh, he had to when he chose Team Islands as his home map. Yeah, Tato came up 21 seconds later. He hit nine, feel late at 951 instead of 934. Back T. So actually, definitely, especially how close they are, it's actually a bit of a difference there. Yeah. It takes about 36 seconds for one guy to come out or something, 30 something seconds, so that's a big advantage actually early on. Bakhti had three ducks producing straight away, but his galleys weren't grouped together, so even though he did eventually find Tato's ducks, it's probably not going to give him too much of an advantage until that second wave of reinforcements hits from his docks. Yeah, now we're playing the case of defender's advantage, but it's not that big of a defender's advantage, so it's, so it's you know, it's probably still okay for Bakhti, but... We'll see how the next engagement goes. Yeah, okay, they're just, Galley's just moving in for the first, and first, oh wow, back to you take a lot of unnecessary hits then, pretty much when, whilst moving forward. And Baxi's not really managing to bring his numbers to bear at the moment with the galleys at the background, although he's retreating the injured one, which is nice. We've seen a lot of that lately. It seems to be something that's creeping in. Uh, it's becoming more and more commonplace for people to pull back galleys and repair them. I don't. I feel like that's been happening a lot more. We saw it a lot as WSVG. Yeah, um, definitely. I think we've seen a few more games of that happening. It's just the fact that it's just nice and efficient, and the fact that, especially in this game, the fact that they're so close, and that fourth dock being down, it's like, well, I can actually just send that galley back and then uh, repair it up. Yeah. So it makes sense. Tattoo, one of Tattoo's injured galleys, just, well, just injured isn't really the right word to use considering they're not loading things, but uh, damaged galleys. Uh, could have easily been picked off there by Baxi, but that didn't happen. So Tato up onto his fourth duck. Just so you know, I've got Tato in red and Baxi in blue. I've got team colours because yep. it was, yeah, it was yeah, red. It was red knowledge. Awesome. Looks like I always do team colours for one v one. Just makes it so much easier. <laughs> I like to preserve the colours, but on the stream, that the red and orange could be very difficult to make out. Looks, looks like. T Baxi is sort of going in heavily onto t one of Tato's docks, but he's not going to find anything there. Although there is one galley that he could pick off really quickly. Tato trying to raid fish on the other side as well. I think both players are so trying to pick off some fish then potentially. Baxi's fish being forced to flee, but I don't think that will be shutting down his fishing economy too much. Well, it's actually got now. a bit of a problem that he's, he's only on th three, uh, three fish, isn't he? Three on three fish in comparison yeah, to four, and you need that four fish early on to get that food income to keep villagers up. I mean, it's doing okay for now. I mean, it's actually ahead, but slowly that that difference will be pretty big actually later on. Yeah. Um, it doesn't sort it out. In, in, once the next game starts, guys, I'll try and get rid of some of the mods that I used to help me play. Um, I had to jump into this game like it started before I was even ready to go live, so I will sort it all out if I if I can next game if they give me time to. Uh, yeah, it looks like Tato is both being able to keep his fish working for longer, and he's had four for the whole game. So, We're yeah, and look how close they are to docks as well, and as well as these big fish too. I mean, like it's it's actually really good for him. Whilst we're sort of in this low part of the game where they're just basically chasing each other around, and actually, yeah, Tato's going to go back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Back to him. Well, Tato's got to be careful just right now, though, because Bakhti's coming in with his whole army grouped together, although Tato trying to sneakily pick off some fish as well. There's a lot of cat and mouse going on here with neither player being willing to commit to any kind of engagement. I really think Tato's just trying to get the fish. I think he's probably... I don't know if he's actually got into line of sight of those fishing ships to see that he has more, but... One fishing ship going down for Tato. Whilst... 
I don't know if looks like one of Bakhti's went down too, yeah. so that's even. Yeah, yeah, nice trade there. One for one. Matato is now on the docks of Bakhti. So, uh. Whilst the same is true, actually, of the. Oh, got his whole look at those fish are going back to dock, and then no, there's guys there, and oh, there goes one, and then it goes two. Oh, dear. Bit of an unfortunate mistake. What? Yeah, that's big. Is uh, well, actually, back to you down to just one fishing ship as well. So both players have um, just pretty much destroyed their opponent's fishing economy, which means we're going to see later up times in this game potentially a much bigger. A uh, feudal fight with a lot more galleys. Tato doing well now though to group all of his galleys together outside of Baxi's docks and picked off a couple of isolated galleys when they tried to reinforce the main army. But Tato has so many more galleys on the field now, 27 to 19, and Baxi can't take this engagement. I think some of them were in Tato's docks, but Baxi managing to click up to the castellage though. I'm just gonna. It's the galleys. He's only clicking up, but look at the production. He's a. Tato's on 27 military at this point, 17, now just 20 for Bacti, but Bacti is about a lot early, he did sell the stones to buy up though. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the, the players to break apart a little bit, just so we can perhaps have a look at their economies, but Tato's still 300 food away from clicking up, he can use the market to, uh, to rejig his economy and, and try and jump up to the next stage, but he doesn't want to, despite the fact that his army is much bigger, he doesn't want to be up too much later and he's actually losing galleys oh. from nothing there two or three going down from absolutely no reason while he's seemingly had right clicked on the docks oh tato come on yeah, a bit more attention he is now up though but he's up by about another minute 20 behind which is pretty big here i think he has tried and when he had that big military gap it's like he's got to force the engagement but now with it being quite close he's now on the other side of problems really He's got to find a way of getting himself back in. I think he must try and kill this, these two docks, and I'm not too sure how I feel about yeah. that. The, th the thing is, obviously, with the galleys being faster than war galleys, he can actually run, and he doesn't have a fishing economy to protect, so that's more of a viable tactic. But the question is, will he have any docks left if, if Bakhti just tries to, to go to camp all of the docks? He did manage to take down one of Bakhti's docks, though, so his production yeah, is going good. to be greater. Still on four docks for now, Tato. Whilst Bakhti's down to three, and if Tato continues to apply pressure to this dock, then it, Bakhti could even be down to two by the time he gets the... And in fact, his production's going to be significantly decreased, because he's going to have to get a wall galley from one of those docks as well. I, sh I hope for his sake he's not doing it from the damaged dock. But it's good that he isn't. But now Bakhti's just on two docks, whilst Tato is producing from four, so as soon as the wall galley kicks in for Tato, he'll presumably have many more galleys, but he's losing them for no reason again. Yeah, he's, lo he's losing a lot unnecessarily, but so no, he did take out two docks, and I was like, yeah. oh, so Bits will rebuild them, you know, quite easily, but I have seen that one just being replaced just now, so... Overall, Tata's not in actually a terrible position, but he just can't, he just doesn't want to fight right now, he needs to move away yeah. and pray. <laughs> Yeah, Baxi doing the right thing and, and not trying to chase those galleys because he won't be able to catch up with them. And he's just going to try and uh, decrease Tato's production by taking out a dock or two until Tato returns. But Tato did build a fifth dock, so he's going to be producing from at least four more whilst Baxi's on one, two, three docks still. So, And Tato does still have a slight galley lead. Early ballistics coming in from Baxi. Don't know if Tato is building a university quite yet. I can't see one. No, I don't see one yet coming up either. It's actually doing snowballs as well across the sort of south side of this island. Probably actually quite worried of a landing, quite interestingly enough. Yeah. Got a bit of a pause right now. Have you got a bit of a pause? Too? Yeah, it's a pause. Yeah. Um. But actually, actually bought a hundred stone, building another TC now. The other side of the forest and nearby a secondary stone. Back to his turning to engage though, having just got ballistics. Seems like he's trying to use a runner in the top part, and that's working quite effectively. A good quarter of Tato's galleys. In fact, multiple runners now, and hardly any of Tato's galleys are hitting anything. This is a really good fight for Baxi, although the fact that he was outnumbered to start off with meant that he's actually not really taking it. It looked like it was going to be a, a good fight anyway, based on the, the micro 
and the ballistics mm. versus non ballistics, but it, it hasn't actually worked out that way. No, it hasn't actually worked out uh, at all, really. And the reason being, actually, is that because Tato's actually on point with this. He, he, he saw the runners and he was like, I, I've got to make sure my guys are focusing the right unit. And you, when you were watching the battle, you can constantly sort of shift in the direction of yeah. them. So, and actually, Tato's actually paying good attention, though, which was nice to see. Yeah, because earlier on he was um, not necessarily noticing when Bakhti moved in on his galleys yes. and he lost a few. Yeah. Galley's avoidable, but on that moment he was definitely ready for the big fight. Uh, and Bakhti's confidence to move in with ballistics ended up meaning that he's taken such a big disadvantage on the water. He's still only on four docks compared to Tattoo's four as well, but it's hard to make up a ten galley um, disadvantage numbers disadvantage when you're on the same number of docks. And really, um, another one of Baxi's docks going down. You have to say he's lost the water at this point. If Tato... I think he's definitely under threat, so he's got to try and think of something now to do. He's, he's got, I suppose we've done the second TC, he might do a third TC, and then basically try and boom it out, put a cast on the shoreline and try and retake the water, which is probably his best bet. Or go for that landing, of course. And actually, you, Tato wore the left-hand side, but not you know the other side, where, you know, probably a bit more receptible from the dock position to go for a landing with. Mm. I think I think Tato will be on guard for that. He's got his scout patrolling around the right-hand side of the shore. Mm. Or, at least, or maybe it was just a right-click move, actually. But yeah, it's still, it's still unlikely, though, just because of the fact that the way that the, the, uh, the docks are positioned and the water control right now, it'd be impossible to get a transport over now. So he's actually building a third TC right inside this island right now. Is actually hittable from the water? I mean, if the, if the war guys actually snuck up near the market, Potentially, I mean, certainly in Imperial Age with Galleon and such, but um, as long as Bakhti doesn't let his villagers stray over the left side of the fight, I think that'll be fine. It seems like uh, Bakhti trying to camp on Tato's docks, really, but that's not really a problem. Once, as soon as Tato's knocked down Bakhti's own docks, he'll just go around and clean that up. The nice thing for Tato is that Bak if Bakhti does manage to land on the left hand side, there are no resources there behind besides a relic and a couple of boars, so. Uh, I think he's, you know, if, if Bakhti lands, it's not going to deny him too much. Just see how, how Tato's economy is looking, because we know Bakhti's on three town centres. Tato's still on the one for now, but his villager numbers are roughly the same. So Bakhti's boom hasn't really kicked in at the moment. But Tato's economy is uh, redlining. It's right on the edge. So he's got less than 100 of everything. Whereas I'm going to presume that Bakhti's yeah. starting to stockpile a little bit, considering he's not producing galleys from multiple docks anymore. <laughs> a slight pause. Yeah, he is putting a dock up on the back. Have you seen that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for back to do sort of thing, and that's why Tato is still continuing pumping those uh, war guys out. I think he's still not confident that he's got enough water control to cut production. Yeah. But Tato is moving around the, to the back side of uh, Bakhti's island on both sides. He's his larger army is actually coming down on the bottom right hand edge of the map and although I don't think Tato took a very good fight with his smaller army on the left here um, his main army is going to come in from the right and clean up that attempt to redock by Bakhti which is going to be quite costly right now Tato has almost five times as many galleys so Bakhti really has completely been well yes. there's there's no way back he can ever hope to yes. match that production until he's in, in multiple castles sheltering under sheltering many docks really because wherever he tries to redock Tato's just got so many galleys that he can patrol around the whole island and, and deny it redocking attempts all over the place seems like Bakhti won't be more than a minute or two until he clicks up to the Imperial Age though, 700 food, 800 gold. Most yeah. Tato is nowhere yeah. near, so... Um, Dangerously Tato, close, but yeah. Yeah, Tato just needs to make sure that... Well, do his best to deny redocking attempts and, and to deny the inevitable castle that will appear on the shoreline. Well, back to looking to redock on the right hand side, and those war guys were just passing as well. They were on patrol, like, I'm gonna send them away as those docks were just coming down. So, unfortunately, just missed maybe by a few seconds, but 
Our back to up to his Imperial is actually looking a little bit dangerous because, you know, if he, ca if he gets away with it, mm. then he's got a lot of problems. But, but back to only has 10 galleys and he's about to lose all of them, so it will be hard to actually. I mean, with, with Tato already having 55 galleys, regardless of the Imperial Age upgrade, it's going to be difficult for him to actually come back on the water. If, if Tato manages to bring all that firepower to bear on what, 20 galleons that he manages to produce from a few docks. Oh, transport ship coming out from Tato though. Building a gate, looks like he's going to send some doors over. Which part of the That's map is that landing in? Interesting. Oh, it's, it's, it, the transport ship's on Tato's uh, docks, but it'll be landing soon though. Oh yeah, I see it. No, you know, with probably what, sort of course villages, but what's the uh, plan with it? Yeah, back to you with six docks on the right, but it's going to take him a very long time to get the amount of numbers that he needs to challenge back to his army. Well, it seems like Tato will be clicking up to the Imperial Age in about one minute. I mean, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I still think that Bakhti's has definitely got a big shot on this. I mean, look at the amount of docks he's got on the right-hand side right now. I mean, he's got 11 military, yeah, but yeah. I mean, once you get the galley and the bracer and even probably the careening if you can and the chemistry, I mean, yeah. that is just going to be just so dangerous. Yeah. Terrifying, I think. Once, yeah. I mean, like, you only need to have like half the numbers or maybe 40, let's say, to even contest it, but... But Tato's found it. I was going to say, like, Tato needs to find this quickly. If he does, he can bring these 65 galleys down and just clean it all up. Um, especially if he does it, if he'd done it as maybe 30 seconds, a minute earlier, before those mm. upgrades would have a chance to kick in. But I was going to say, he's, he had all his galleys behind his island, which you don't need many to, to guard against the landing. He needed to use them a bit more offensively, trying to scout what Bakhti was doing, because he knows Bakhti's gone up to the Imperial Age and wants to redock somewhere, so uh, make those galleys work for you, uh, uh, taking map control, gaining scouting information of what Bakhti's trying to do. Um, it seems though that he's just going to rely on the fact that he's already got the numbers, and wait for his own upgrades to kick in rather than trying to rush down back to attempt to regain the water so he's just saying okay you can kill a few galleys for now you can maybe kill one or two of my docks but Ooh. in a minute or two I'm going to have 40 more galleons than you anyway so good luck basically look at the transport ship where is it? Now, I thought landing with villagers but no he's being super cheeky he's going to take that mug over and just snag the relic he's like that's mine <laughs> Amazing. I don't... Oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> oh, but did he get chased down by the galleons? Nah, it's not gonna happen this time, but... Now look at the military count now, back to the 30, 33. And this is the best thing, because Tato can't engage us right now with the army he has, because it's all split up, so... Mm. The number's going to increase for sure. Yeah, and also... In fact, he's camping on Tato's dock, so he can't really reinforce the small groups of galleons that he's got. It's, it's going to be really hard for Tato to bring his numbers to bear, because although he's got more galleys at the moment, he won't be able to bring them together. I mean, they're on opposite sides of the map, some of them are in his docks, uh, and Bakhti's yeah. just doing a good job of creating unequal fights in different parts of the map, where he's, you know, he's, he knows he's got the technology advantage, so almost any reasonably evil fight he can take is going to be good for him, so he's taking fights everywhere on both sides of the map on docks. And Tato needs making more docks at the back which is good because he that production at the front is uh, compromised somewhat but he's making extra docks at the front as well in fact he wants docks everywhere. Problem is back to his economy is way better 107 bills because he went on three town center uh, boom earlier so in many ways losing the water that early has almost led to him getting into this position where he's he's got the, the better Imperial Age economy to make more galleys in the long term. But Tato's numbers still keeping nicely ahead. He's got 30 galleys more and as long as he can avoid 
taking bad fights and as long as he can manage to bring all of his galleys together in one place then he should be able to to make that count but this isn't good for him on the right yeah it's, it's not a good engagement I think he, he's probably hoping the fact that the dock next to him with, uh, next to uh, Baxi's guys would take some of the fire but that's not happening this occasion he's got to go back and regroup But I think actually what he could do is just try and corner him in. He's got loads of guys towards the middle of the map right now taking out those docks. Yeah. If he sort of baits them into the engagement and then came with his reinforcements quick enough, it could have been a nice engagement, but like uh in fact he's too smart for that. He's gonna go back towards his castle anyway and just regroup. I wonder if Tato was trying to sneak another transport on the left because he's making a solitary dock out there, but Bacti found it. Looks like the two players might be moving in for the big engagement in the middle, they're potentially sort of forming up opposite each other, but neither one wanting to commit because both players have got docks in that area, so there'll be galleys firing at docks. Tato just go for the Tato with four now. relics, though, actually. So Yeah, that's going to be really good for him later on in the later game. Like, four relics to one is huge. Snagging that relic was pretty important. I think we're going to see one of the first really big Imperial Age engagements with both players grouping their armies together, but, but Tato's got the numbers on this fight. Um, yeah. Bakhti has a lot of galleys on that spot, because the, they'd all piled up on top of each other, but he, even so, nowhere near enough, and, and Tato's still got another 15 or so around the back of the map. Each round upgrade is coming from back T though, and this is actually so crucial. If you can patrol them on the shoreline during the engagements, the amount of tanking that they can do is, is ridiculous. Did you <laughs> so, say Thai uh, tanking? Be <laughs> Sorry? Did you say Thai tanking? No, 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 no. It's now tanking. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know you meant tanking, but I thought you, I thought you, I thought you uh, switched out of Titanic. I tell, you, I tell you, if I was that good at puns, I would, I would have said it, but I'm not good at puns, so... Oh well. I'm a big engagement though in the middle, and well, the, not all Tata's army is getting involved, and it's not the best engagement I don't think. Yeah, him. he needs to bring those reinforcements from the north, which he, he is doing, they're just coming round now. But Tata with so many more galleys behind as well. Yeah, I know. And the siege rams aren't really well positioned too. because they're behind Bakhti's galleys, and right now Bakhti's taking huge losses. These siege rams aren't paying up at all because Tato's just like, I'm not, not going to go close to your shoreline. <laughs> it's like, you know, you come to me sort of thing. But actually, I think we've got to transport you there. I think he wants to transport those siege rams over, but um, for now he's got to wait a little bit. Yeah. Back to retreating to the shelter of his castle. But Tato's done nicely here to make sure he preserved the, the advantage. Like, he was always had many more galleys than Bacti did, and he's never got into a situation where he significantly compromised his galley numbers. I think the the lowest difference he went down to was about a difference of 20. And right now he's managed to increase that difference to double now. It's almost 50 difference. So, uh, Bakhti's going to yeah. find it incredibly hard. As long as Tata doesn't do anything stupid, he's got a real stranglehold over this game. Well, must Tato lost something. He must have deleted some houses or something because he's got pop capped at 185 over 200, but he's fixing that now, but crazy. And actually, he's denied that castle back to along the shoreline too. There's another one there, but actually deny another one too. That's really good for him to do so. Yeah. So to ba if that second castle doesn't go up, then Baxi won't be able to take that gold safely. No, that's a big problem for me. He needs to get that castle up to yeah. shore and, and control it. <laughs> And with, what uh, Tata really needs to get, or both of them needs to get, mainly for Tata, I think he needs to get cannon galleons out. And the reason being is the fact that he knows he's got a much larger military out, and when he got the uh, cannon galleons, they can work on the castles, but also force the engagement. Like, Bakhti would have to go and fight that to try and take out the, the cannon galleons. And so I think he needs to get cannon galleons going. Because Bakhti's island narrows on the right hand side, he can take out so much with those cannon galleons as well. Yeah, absolutely. And look at the amount of wood being taken there too. If he loses all that ground there, then he's in a lot of trouble when it comes to that wood income. Yeah, especially like on the left-hand side of Bakhti's Island, there's so mm. much open space with very little wood and what the big forest that there is there, but they're all close to the shoreline. So uh, the long-term safety of Bakhti's Island is, is it's really not very good. Seadram's finally helping out though over on the... Sort of like 
well, the where all those siege workshops are for Baxi. And Tasso forced to retreat there as he was trying to pile onto the siege workshops and the docks. Tasso's still denying that castle on the left hand side, although he'll have to devote some attention there to make sure that the galleys shoot at the castle. So the village are building the castle instead of the castle foundation. A bit of a poor engagement from North though. I mean, Tato sends in about about what, 10, 15 galleons against what, like a bucket 30 of them. It's like, ah, it's not going to work out too well. The other half are just taking out siege rams and siege workshops. Like, not on my high priority list of things to achieve, really. Yeah, Tato's losing a lot of galleys here unnecessarily. I mean, he still has a lead of almost 50, so it's not disastrous, but it's, it's unnecessary, let's say that. Yeah. I'm surprised by the lack of siege from Tato. I, I, I know he's got lots of cat rams by his, uh, by his uh, siege workshops up in his base, but still waiting to see, you know, something else, really. I think he just, it's at the stage where he knows if he takes another game in this, in this whole series, then he's going to be in such a great position, and he doesn't want to commit to a landing until he's absolutely sure, like he just wants to to wipe back off the water and just feel like he's in a great position. So I think he's just probably going to take the safest approach. I mean, if you're trying to do a landing, then potentially you're not going to be able to do it quite as much micro on the water, and Bacti might manage to equalise the galley numbers or something. I think that might be his thinking. Yeah, you're probably absolutely right. I mean, he's like, well, 6-3 up currently as well. Yes. He wants to try and secure this game. He knows he's got the late game as well with the four relics in, in his pocket. So he just wants to, doesn't want to overextend because it can easily turn so quickly. And we're back to his resources. Got two thousand gold, but only three hundred wood actually. Got a ton of food. Back he managed to get that vessel up. Oh, he did. He must yeah. be a few seconds ahead of me. I'm on fifty thirty-five. I'm on fifty. I'm Ten seconds ahead of you. Okay. I'm on fifty-one. <laughs> I'll speed it up a little bit. Ninja Ashby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Guys, the Bacti just took the score lead. I know. Look at the military now. It's actually hitting above 60. It's yeah. Crazy. It's <laughs> For the first time, I swear. But oh, sneaky transport in the midst of uh, all those galleys and Tato. And the galley difference has come down to 15. Yeah, that's changed so it's much in the last, last few years. Oh my god, look at those. Yeah. Look at those siege rams. Uh, berserkers, instantly berserkers for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's got, like, berserkers already queued up so far. He's even doing some stowballs next to his other castle as well, just to stop the rams coming forward. Actually, quite, that's actually a nice smart play there. That is a very smart move. Hmm. Good quick thinking. The thing is, though, it doesn't really matter because, I mean,. The Berserkers just get chopped down by all those galleons anyway, so it's not really going to solve the problem, actually. Yeah. Oh, that... Siege Ram is being built by Bacti to counter, but I think this is too late. Yeah, and that's going to... And although Bacti's got a bank of gold, when you're producing galleys from so many docks, it's not going to last forever, and Tato's had the four relics all this time, so... Uh... I think although Bacti's got a large number of galleys, he's not going to be able to produce as many and replace as many long term. So even though Bacti has miraculously come back into it to be almost 50-50 in terms of galley numbers and on the water, that won't last long. That was so well played by Tata actually. It's kind of felt like he lured him into a uh, yeah, full sense of security. It's like, okay, here come my rams now. <laughs> Deal with it. I, I have I have not seen that kind of an approach. In a long time, at least. Yeah. I I like how he just be like, hey, Ram, <laughs> yeah. hello. <laughs> oh. Yeah, definitely, definitely a great idea. That was for sure. That's I mean, so Ram is, is common use, but that 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 movie made there was actually extremely clever. But the same coming in from Bacti though, transport ship up the north. It's got about what five villages and about four or five Rams in there as well. Ooh. You keep getting ahead of me, but the problem is if I watch on like 75 speed, 
then that's too fast. But uh, then 50, yeah, 50 on, you get I'll ahead. I'll go on 75 speed. Sorry. This is not going to be good. No, no, seven... He's going to lose that entire fleet. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's really bad. Oh my god. Yeah, Tato really doesn't want to take this fight here. He also back. Tato building a castle now, right now. Where's he building that castle, actually? Oh, even two monks coming out too, trying to convert the villagers. Looks like <laughs> actually quite in smart. the south, though, uh, Tato trying to get another uh, castle kill with those siege rams. He's still got five or six left, and back he's desperately trying to wall it with gates. Tato's managed to. Oh, and he has a hill advantage on the siege rams there. Yeah. When, with all those galleons there, though, uh, Tato can stop it being walled, and he might be able to get in with the rams. I, I don't know where to look now, whether to look in the galley fight in the middle or the rams at the bottom. Uh, I think oh. that castle's gone down. This is not good for uh, back T. Yeah, he's that... probably gonna lose this. That's another got. Oh. Build... Sorry, go on, Ashby. Build... The military numbers have become equal, mm. almost. But back T can't replenish anymore. He's down to 80 gold, and back and uh, Tato's got galleons on both of his remaining gold lines now. Tato's got four relics. That wood line's gonna be under under threat. Whereas Tato, 600 gold in the bank, 1,000 wood in the bank, still mining gold, four relics. As soon as Bakhti loses that army, I think it's going to be game over for him. So as long as Tato doesn't get into a position where he loses all his numbers without uh, decreasing Bakhti's numbers too much, then I think he's going to be fine. Like this is, um, back, this is like Bakhti's last roll of the dice now, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Look at those siege rams up, up, you know, where the landing was given. Like, and those rams good. have lived forever. Yeah, they're taking out all the two siege workshops. I'm actually going to limit it, because all the villagers have now died too. Oh, sorry, actually, there's, there's three actually there still. <laughs> I can see them. Um, <laughs> but anyway, oh, and no you managed to make the through. relic drop out. Okay, that's even worse now. Oh, oh yeah. But the, 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 the better thing right now as well, Batas was like, most of the castles have gone, which does mean that the amount of space that's created for these galleys, galleys to get and hit the uh, wood lines and the edges and the gold can do a lot of damage to back T, so another bigger problem for him right now. <laughs> and, oh, look at look at Tato as well. Like, the stone walls he created as well, the castle he's putting up. I mean, these light cab can't go anywhere. <laughs> Nowhere they can go. Village is going idle all over back to these islanders now. Now his economy is just tanking, and I don't think it's going to be too long before we see him concede defeat in this game. Looking pretty rough for him. Back to his, like I ain't going down without a fight. Well, absolutely, two two hundred and fifty dollars on the line, and a huge time investment in the series as well. Baxi still has one villager somehow on Tato's island, though, and he's I trying know. to put up another siege workshop, but I don't think that's going to be allowed to happen. <laughs> Yeah, it gets, in gets instantly denied. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. But actually, number three transport ships are out though, and there's like another set of villagers from back to you coming over. He's definitely not giving up just yet. A bunch more villagers get chopped off, and then they're probably making another set of siege workshops. But it's still, it, oh no, it's gonna be, yeah, he's workshop and more stables. There's like more like cavalry on the cards, but. And back to is, is back on that gold on the bottom of his island for now, and he's just re picked up the relic again, although I don't think he's got a monastery to actually put it in. No, he's building he a monastery. Yeah, you keep going ahead of me. Can you um, watch on 50 speed, if possible, please? Because if I watch on 75, it's like fast forward, like super speed. But if. Alright, I'm on, I'm on 50 speed now. Okay, and what time are you at? 103. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward to 103 in a bit and then hopefully we'll be roughly the same. 
Alright, well meantime though, looks like Tato is trying to spawn over another little 10, 10 Berserks trying to spawn over. So we're going to try and do some raiding with that. That could be a lot of damage there. There's no actual... There's, there's not actually any stables or anything back at home. I think it's only one castle as well, so... Right up in the north side of the base, so... Looks like a whole lot of those are going to go down. No TC protecting these ones, so... And GG calls by back to you. Wow. S and V, you there? Oh, yeah. Okay. That was, uh... Pretty comprehensive by Tato for after being slightly slower up to the feudal ledge. Oh, sorry, I've I've quit out without seeing the achievements. Right, um, I've got it, got okay. it covered. Okay. Um, yeah, he had the larger military numbers, pretty much from the moment when Bakti chose to uh, turn back and fight when he got ballistics first, and despite Bakti trying to use multiple runners to distract Tato's non-ballistics galleys he ended up losing that fight and taking a, a military deficit of about 20 to 10 and since mm. that moment Tato just always had more galleys for the rest of the match took the relics early denied back yeah. from taking the resources close to the shore and that was pretty much it yeah interesting stuff. Well, the, well, the biggest interesting statistic of course it's actually the gold now the gold collected is, is about 3,000 but do you know how much relic gold Tato collected? Nope. 3,135. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, they literally difference. were collecting pretty much in terms of gold mining, the actual same, but the relic gold difference was the difference there, difference maker. So, uh, all played by Tato to sneak that relic from a uh, back to.